Hey everyone, Shaper 1000 here. Also have Monkey 1000. Today we're going to talk about UPS and USPS, right? Yes. Um, we were going to do a live stream tonight, but Monkey wasn't feeling well. Our sugar went real low, so I thought, you know, to be safe, we'd just stay in here. And I didn't know what I was going to do a video on. And then when I told her about this, she was like, "Well, there's your video." She's very upset. <laughs> well, yeah. Okay. So anyway, we're going to talk about this. I'm going to show some proof of what these, what some people might say accusation or claims are. And I'll show you in proof. So stick around, guys. Okay, so... <clears throat> We sent out some packages, but the three I got all this proof from is the three that I sent out for, um, we had to give away, and I ended up giving away three things. One was my chef's hat, one was my personal um, Swiss Army knife, and one was the one that Dennis won, was the uh, cell phone holder. Okay, now we sent these all three out through UPS, she did it. Yeah. And I got the receipts here now. I'm not going to show you any private information, but I can tell you what it cost. Okay, one cost $8.13, one costed $6.35, and one costed $7.40. Now, this, she sent some other things out, but this is just what it cost, you know, for those three items. No problem. They're giveaways. I don't mind that. Okay, and here's proof. Now, I don't want to show you any personal information, but I can show you right here. Okay. The UPS store, there's their logo. And right there it says, the UPS store. Alright. And also on the back of these receipts, every one of them has their little ghost logo there. Okay, see? So, proof. We shipped them. It's got the times on here too, right? Mm hmm. So, it tells how much they weighed and the date. We sent them out Friday, November 3rd. So, um, I can't show you anything else because um, personal, private information on here. I don't want to dox anybody. Um, but it says shipped through the UPS store, uh, number five, 5313 Inverness, Florida. And it has their phone number here. <clears throat> okay. Now, the problem I have with that is there's a reason why we paid them to ship them. Because I don't like the U.S. mail. I don't like FedEx, so I'm pretty much down to them. So here's what happened. She paid that, and the same day, I don't know, is there a time on here somewhere? Should be. Should be up on the top, maybe. But, um, it's, it has the weight. And so tracking numbers. Uh, description the shipping charge I don't see a time mm -mm. it just has the date yeah okay but anyway so she shipped these out Friday right so uh, yeah we're thinking everything's cool and when we get the tracking numbers I always track when when I'm receiving packages and also when I'm sending packages so I know the person I'm sending it to is going to get it. And also we've had problems before with the United States Postal Service oh, um, yeah. telling her, you know, making her put a return address on things that I'm sending out that people bought through eBay because I sell some stuff on eBay every now and again. <clears throat> and at one time I said, look, we do, we, I don't want my return address you have to you have to put it on there or we can't send it and I said you don't have to put a return address on on a because uh, he said anything 
I don't care if it's a letter or postcard. I said, wait a minute, postcard don't have return address. Well, it doesn't matter. So, fine, I, I let him have that one. I put a fucking return address on it, right? And it said right on it, you know, like this is it. I had shipped to, and I had the person's name and address there. And then right up here was my return, like you're supposed to have it. What'd they do? They sent it right back here. Yeah. They sent it back to my house. Yeah. Right here. Yeah. When it said, and I and I, I chewed them, I chewed them out, and they 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 refused to take care of it. We had to pay again. Yeah. yeah. Plus, it was late for the customer. But it even said ship to anyone that's received anything from me. You'll see that on your address. Ship to. What what are you doing? Okay, so she was bumping me. So please stop. So anyway, that's that's one reason. You know, not to mention my divorce papers. I did a video on that. Yeah. Somebody busted perfume and it went all over my important documents. They didn't want to take care of it. 140 bucks down the drain. Yeah. They would not take care of it. Mm -mm. And we've had stuff that, you know, it says out for delivery, out for delivery. Mail goes right past. And I call them and they're like, um, well, it's probably still in the truck. Okay, well, you got paid to deliver that. You drove right past the house. How can it still be in the truck? So I'm tired of messing with them. So FedEx, I think I did a video on her bumper. Um, parts were missing out of it. Mm -hmm. It's not the company's fault. So I didn't even bother the company because it wasn't their fault. It was FedEx's fault. And then not too long ago, her mom's whatever came and the box was all smashed up. I said, how many times you run over this one? Mm -hmm. And the young woman or girl <laughs> just kind of chuckled and walked the fuck away. So, but anyway, so I'm tracking this and I'm like, why is this, what, you know, what's going on here? I'm tracking it all at once. The tracking number for UPS didn't work no more. I was like, what the hell? So, you know, I always get texts and emails and stuff which I didn't get one text for some reason but so but I was getting emails and I'm like the tracking for these emails the tracking saying it's United States Postal Service mm -hmm. okay now mind you all right in order to take that stuff to the UPS store you got to go right past the post office right mm-hmm and then it's about a mile from the post office to the UPS store. So it left the UPS store. They just sent it, took it over to the post office and shipped it out from there. Now, so I Googled this and it says, and they're all saying this, okay? It says, sometimes the carrier company, such as UPS, has a number of different types of service that the sender can select from. One of them is known as Smart Post. It is with this type of service that the UPS handles long distance transportation, and then the package is, handled, is handed to the post office for the final local delivery. So if that's the case, UPS should have took... Well, we had one go clear out to, uh, where'd it go? Right here. It went clear out to Oregon. Mm -hmm. Right? As it says right here. Let me show you something. So, apparently, UPS should have brought it from Inverness, Florida, out to Oregon, right? But... Let me show you something here. I can prove that it didn't. Okay, there's no address here. It's just a city, so don't try to dox this guy. Okay, so it says here, shipping label created at USPS awaiting, or shipping label created USPS awaiting item, Inverness, Florida, November 3rd, 1226 p.m. So as soon as they received that package, or as soon as she paid to ship it, 
um, they already created a label for United States Postal Service. And that is how I know that, that they didn't take it out to his local area and hand it off to them. No, it got handed off here. And here's the damn proof. Right there. It left here. It didn't go out there and then get there. It left here. And it was delivered on November 9th at 11.50 a.m. It was delivered in or at his mailbox. Um, so why would they why would they lie about it and I can't find any place I've, I've been on several different websites looking this up uh, here's another one UPS handles long distance transportation and then the package is handed to the post office for the final local delivery that's not true we're shipping it out of Inverness Florida to the west coast of the United States it left here United States Postal Service not United Parcel Service not UPS mm -mm. they drove it a fucking mile mm -hmm. they drove it a mile at most and we paid that money for that well apparently you know they're in with the USPS so apparently what I'm thinking is they're getting stuff shipped to almost nothing they're driving it a mile and charging us that kind of money for shipping there's a reason you know I mean you wouldn't pay okay my neighbor Joe Blow down the street here is gonna work on my car I gave him hundred and fifty dollars uh, and then he sends his cousin you know Leon up that don't know anything about it to fix your car but you already paid the other guy you know yeah think about it mm -hmm. it's like ordering an uber and an uber goes ah, I don't feel like driving out that far he calls his cousin because he's closer and his cousin Herbert wants to come and pick you up it's the same thing you didn't pay that guy I didn't pay the United States Post Office to deliver these I paid you UPS to deliver them and they didn't they drove it a damn mile yeah they, I mean, didn't, they never said anything either they just I just told her to go as cheap as possible you know and so she did she didn't say okay well if you do it for this price it's gonna go to the the post office and the post office is going to deliver. Let's see, it says she never said that. Okay, but that's not the point. Even here, it says it will long distance transportation. So there's they should have at the my at the maximum minimum, they should have took it out there at least to his local post office and gave it to them. They didn't. They drove it a freaking mile to our post office. If I wanted them to do the whole thing, I would have just took it there myself. Right. But it says complete online tracking. Enter the address in your web browser to track. Okay. So I did all this and it was gone. There was no tracking number. And I was like, what's going on? So I told her, I said, I think something's going on. I think our packages are coming back or something. Because we had that problem before. Yeah. I said, did you put, because I said, from now on, don't, don't put a return address on it. You know, because we don't have to. Anytime you ship mail or anything, you don't have to let someone know your, your personal address. Especially nowadays when you're selling stuff online. And she said, no, I didn't. I just left it the way you had it, which I didn't put in any return address because, uh, well, I think two of these already know our address anyway. But the point is, is, you know, I don't, what, what if, what if I'm selling something, you know, through eBay? total stranger you don't have you don't have to let them know where you live no they don't need your address mm -mm. but and so I was like what's going on you know I typed it in on all three of these I tried I tried all, all the tracking numbers and they wasn't working and I was getting ready to email everybody to tell them hey I don't know what's going on but the tracking's not working well that's because it had before probably before she even got in the car it had already you know went to the post office you know what I mean because it doesn't say what time it was here but the time here definitely says that the shipping label was created at 12 26 p.m. Hmm. and I know you know you left about noon yeah to go do that mm -hmm. so that's about right 
Yeah, it is because I had you know to, to leave here and then yeah. go and wait in line and everything, mm -hmm. and pay that's them and everything, and then at twelve twenty six. So that's why I had a tracking number for about ten minutes, <laughs> and then it just wouldn't. It just went away. You know, can't find that tracking number. Page not found and all this. And I'm like, what the hell? Finally, I, I got my first email stating that, you know, that it was, that the item was at, at the United States Post Office. I was like, what the hell? Yeah. That's weird. So that pisses me off, man. Mm -hmm. You know? It and, does. And I, you know, there, there's a reason. I, I mean, why didn't I just send it through the mail? Well, it's cheaper through here. But they're the ones delivering it anyway. <laughs> you know? Yeah. Here, I'm going to give you this money. Make sure my package gets out there safe and sound. Will do. <laughs> Bye. See ya. Yeah, post office. Yep, we got another one for you. And what happens if it gets lost in between? Who's yeah, going to take care of it? That's what we were saying. If it gets lost or something... We go to United. We we go to uh, United Parcel Service. We go to the UPS. We go to the Brown Company, right? We go there and say, "Hey, uh, you know, the package is lost. Our customer didn't get their package." Oh, oh, well, well, United States Postal Service. You know, the mail took it. Well, wait a minute. We paid you. Yeah, but they took it. So we go back. What if we go back to the mail? Then they're gonna say, "Yeah, but you didn't hire us." Yeah. You hired them. You paid them. So you got to take it up with them. That's going to be a back and forth thing. Mm -hmm. I can just say it now. Yeah. It's bullshit. So I'm going to make you guys aware of that. And, and right now we just spent 45 minutes looking for anything on YouTube about it. Nobody has anything about that on YouTube. So I don't know if you guys, not many people know about it or what. But the only thing that's coming up on YouTube is, you know, there's scam tax or, or most of them's, how to wrap a package. How to ship a package. <laughs> no, and, and, and I tried three or four different ways. You know, why did the United States Postal Service take my package when I paid, you know, UPS to do it and all that? Yeah. That's not fair. That's deceiving people. It's maddening. There's a reason why I went through that company. Not just for the price. It's because up until now, I didn't have a problem with them, you know? Mm-hmm. But I had nothing but problems with FedEx. I've had nothing but problems with the mail. So let's go to UPS. And it, and it just, something struck me. I was like, cause you know, I want to make sure these guys got their, their stuff. And I hope you guys enjoy them. Uh, of course, Mark already knows I signed the hat, but um, Dennis and Kenny, I signed your boxes. Kenny, yours is signed on the knife box. And Dennis, yours is signed on the box on top. So I did sign everything signed. But anyway, I want to make you guys aware of that if you didn't know. Be careful and ask them next time. And that's what I'm going to go with her. Next time I have to send something out and I'm going to say, you know, I want you guys to take it. Yeah. It's that simple. If you're not going to take it, then I'm not going to waste my time or money with you. Right. So that's the only thing I can figure is somehow they're getting a really cheap discount to have. So they're charging us this hefty price to drive it a freaking mile. Yeah. That pisses me off. There's that's a scam. They're scamming me. Yeah. They're scamming her. They're scamming you guys. Mm -hmm. um, you know. So well, if you want it that cheap, then you're gonna have to have the mail take it. No, I'm paying you, not the mail. I'm paying you. You see what I mean? Yeah. Jeez. I can't, and I can't believe they're doing and that. And also, and they I can was, get away with also it. I was reading in here too where it said that that also adds an extra day on the shipping. It can add up to an extra day on the shipping. Hmm. Because sometimes it takes them a day to get from there to the post office and blah, blah, blah. And if it ain't there in time, then it can't ship. So you're, you're losing a day most of the time. And hmm. that's what it says. Most of the time, it will add a day on to the thing. So if I tell, you know, somebody, I saw something on eBay and they're expecting it on this day. And then it turns out they get an, a message saying, uh... The time has changed. It's now going to be the next day, and it, that's going to make me look bad. It's going to make me look like I didn't ship it when I said. Because, like, you might not know this. eBay, when you buy something from eBay and you get that message that says, your item hasn't been shipped. No, it's not. It's just the shipping grade, uh, The shipping label has been created. Right. They could hold on to that for, you know, days before it gets shipped out to you. Yeah. 
So be mindful of that too, mm -hmm. you know. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's been shipped. No, it hasn't, mm -hmm. you know. They just created the shipping label. It has not been shipped yet. Mm -hmm. That's why it'll say such and such waiting for, you know, right. pickup or whatever. So anyway, guys, we want to let you know that. That's bullshit. It is. I'm very mad about that. I don't know right. how they can do it. How they're getting away with that it. That is not right. I mean, if they told you that... You know, then it would be up to you to decide if you want to take it. Well, think not. about it. Okay, you order pizza from Pizza Hut. And come find out Papa John's delivers your pizza. Why? It's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, you know, because, well, you know, we're in cahoots with them. So we just thought, you know, we'd pay them and have them bring it to you. But that's not the pizza I pay for. That's not the delivery guy I'm paying, I'm no. paying to Tim. Mm -hmm. It's the same. It's the same exact thing. Yeah. I'm going to order a pizza from this person, but it's going to come from this pizza shop. Well, I'm going to pay this delivery person to deliver this package, but they're going to drop it off at this place, and they're going to deliver. It's the same thing. Yeah. You know? Mm -hmm. It's the same, it's same misleading. damn thing. It's wrong. Totally wrong. No, it's not misleading. It's a straight-up scam because they're getting their packages shipped out next to nothing by using the mail, but they're charging us an arm and a leg. You know, to, to haul it a mile. It, it, you know, what was the most expensive one here would be the um, $8.13. They're not going to use $8 worth of fuel in any of them damn trucks. You're not going to use $8 worth of fuel in a semi to go one mile. No. I'm a mechanic. You ain't going to tell me it's going to take that much money to take it from, it's, it's literally a mile to take it from there over to, to the post office bullshit mm -hmm. doesn't take that much money so they didn't do crap they didn't do anything no mm -mm. so that was a waste of our time because well her time and her gas because she drove past the damn post office and then back past again to get here mm -hmm. and the post office is only what half a mile up the road yeah a mile let's say a mile yeah mm -hmm. that's stupid so she traveled, you know, two miles to the UPS or two miles back. That's more than what they traveled. That's four miles. Mm -hmm. And they charge us this kind of money to go two miles if you count them going back. That's bullshit. <laughs> yeah. So guys, be aware of that. I don't know if anything can be done about that or not. You know, I think I'm going to start sending out some uh, emails and find out what's what the hell is going on. Why they're doing that to people. And it, that's not right. Yeah. You pay them for services that somebody else is going to be doing. Yeah. That's what I'm doing. I'm paying them for services, and they're passing it on to somebody else. Yeah. That's not right. That's not fair. I don't care how cheap it is. Mm -hmm. That's not right. No. Nope. You know? No, I don't care if they said, here, give us your package. You know what? We'll do it for you for free. And then send it through the mail. That's not what I want. Nope. I'm paying you guys. I want you to deliver it. If I wanted the post office to screw my stuff up, I would go pay them. Right. You know, it's it's ridiculous. And you look at all the YouTube videos, just YouTube. Then we're not counting TikTok, Facebook, and uh, the internet. We're not talking about. Just look at some of the things they do on YouTube. The postal service. Mm -hmm. Didn't you have some thrown out or something over in Oklahoma? Oh, I had all my mail. It was stolen. Well, it was a ma it was a mail lady, and she was the yeah, my mail lady was on vacation, so she took over. She got stressed out, took all the mail, and threw it out in the woods in in Oklahoma. And I had a water bill. Was it the whole route? Oh yeah, yeah. So everybody on that route. Yeah, and I had a water bill that I knew was going to come through the mail, and it never came. So I was like, uh oh. So I called the water company to see why I didn't get the bill. And she found out because she kept getting calls that this is what happened. Yeah, because they were getting ready to shut her water off because she's waiting on the bill. Yeah. I was the bill never came, so she's waiting. So she decided to call. And it's a good thing other people were calling in too because she would have had her water shut off. So I called the postmaster. And the postmaster confirmed it. Yeah, that's what happened. Well, why, why didn't they go door to door or try to call? Get at least what mail they could and have it delivered, right? 
I never. I mean, if they, I never got okay, any what, of it. All right, all right, no. all right. That's what I'm saying no. now. The male was thrown out in the woods. They found out where the male was thrown out in the woods. Then why didn't they get somebody else to deliver it the rest of the way? Well, the reason why, because I asked him, well, where's my mail? I want my mail. And he said, well, they have to keep it for evidence because they were prosecuting her. But after that, I still never got the mail. Evidence, you take a picture of it and send people their mail. Yeah. It's just like if somebody steals my tractor and they find it i can go get that tractor and bring it home they don't need the tractor look this is the evidence no you got a picture of it is the evidence well what if there's somebody had money in there or pay a check or something oh, i'm sure they them. did i'm sure they did they lost that Maybe, money i'm sure they did yeah. like birthday cards and stuff mm -hmm. like that people mm -hmm. always send money in birthday right. cards well, granted it's not like three hundred dollars but still. most of the time usually you stick a five dollar <laughs> bill in there but still mm-hmm you know, just to take someone's stuff. Well, this this that's why I don't like to deal with the post office. That's yeah. why I wanted to deal with somebody else, and they went ahead, turned it over to them anyway. Yeah, unbelievable. It's bullshit. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, so be aware of that. If there's anything you think I can do or say about it, you know, to somebody, because that's not right. And it even says in here on two or three different websites that they'll do the long haul. Okay, I can get it. Okay, that I would be satisfied with. Okay, they took it to his post office, and then they took it to him. Okay, that's kind of hard to mess up from the post office to your home. Mm. They can do it. It's been done. But what I'm saying, I'm okay, but what I'm saying is, all right, fine. I, okay, fine, cool. We can do that. But they didn't. They're saying they do that, but they're not because I got proof right here, and I've got all these in my emails, and I've got them screenshotted too, where it didn't the farthest they took it was a mile not the long haul mm -hmm. they didn't take it to the local delivery person there they took it to my local delivery person they made the long haul and that's not right mm -hmm. and we all know ups is slower than the usps because mm -hmm. you know the usps or the um ups the ups um will get something usually in an, like that far a night or two at tops. Mm -hmm. United States Postal Service because it's got to stop in different places, you yeah, know? Yeah. And it then it gets forever. on a truck and then it runs the long haul and then it goes, you know, through a couple more places. Yeah. Well, like I said, like like right here, I'll, I'll just prove it to you. You know, before it even left Florida, here we go. Um, Tracking and delivery. We're going to see the whole tracking list. So it left here while well, the shipping label was created. Then it was accepted. Okay, so the shipping label was created on Friday, mm -hmm. the 3rd. But they didn't even take the package till Saturday, the 4th. At 9.28 p.m. Wow. See, so there's your whole day. And that doesn't make sense because when I go to UPS, I have been there later. And I have seen the yeah. UPS guy and he comes at 5 o'clock okay, every but, day there okay, to pick up the okay. mail. So. Okay. But why? what I'm saying right here is proof. Yeah. We already established it was Friday, right? Mm-hmm. Friday the 3rd. They created a shipping label. For the United States Postal Service, the mail, at 1226, November 3rd. Mm -hmm. They didn't actually get the package until 928 p.m. on the 4th, which was Saturday. Right here's proof of it. See that? Right yes. there's proof of it. So there's that whole day wasted. Yeah. Sitting in the back of a truck. Huh. And people wonder why their electronics don't work. I'm starting to think maybe it's not China's bad piss poor products. It's because it sits in a truck too damn long. Mm -hmm. The heat and the cold and all that. But right there's proof. Mm -hmm. They created the label at 12.26 p.m. on Friday and didn't even drop it off to the post office until 9.28 p.m. That's a hell of a lot more than 24 hours. So there's your whole day right there on Saturday. Then it left there and went to Jacksonville. 
and it stopped in Jacksonville to get on the truck to take it out west. See hmm. what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. That's something. Jesus. Right there's proof. There's your whole day. That's why it may take an extra day, they said. Yeah. On that one website. It said it could cause a day delay in your delivery. Well, there it is. It's just actually more than a day. That was more than 24 hours, mm -hmm. wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, because yeah. 1226 yeah. to Saturday would have been 24 hours. Mm -hmm. So, you know, the post office didn't. So it took them. How long is that? You know? Hmm. It took them eight hours, so eight and 24, that's 32 hours. Right? Mm hmm. Took them 32 hours to get that one mile. So there's your extra day. That's nuts. Doesn't even make sense. It don't. To go a damn mile. Jesus. There you go, guys. Mm -hmm. Right there's proof. Yeah, I'm a little upset. I don't get it. What do you guys think about that? And did you know that? Let me know in the comments below. So you guys have a great weekend. Um, I don't know. Hopefully, maybe we can do a live tomorrow night or something. Yeah. We'll see if she's feeling better. We'll we'll do that. All right, guys. So thanks for watching. Appreciate it. Shea Bear, the Myth of Man of Legend. I'm going for now, Monk. So she's out. Get Bye, y'all. Check her channel out, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm. Bye, bye, guys. Have a great weekend. We'll see you soon.